Ah, look who it is. Okay. Somebody's going to work. I am indeed. And don't you forget to do my chilli this evening. Hideous. <laughs> Alright, have a good day and I'll see you later. Thanks. When I've made your chilli. You better do. <laughs> right then, she shut the door. Her final words were still ringing in my ears. And don't you forget to do my chilli this evening. And don't you forget to do my chilli this evening. I was crippled by anxiety. I knew I had to make a, an amazing chilli con carne. But what ingredients would I use? I needed to clear my head. I needed some space to think about my next move. I now knew what I had to do. So let's get the show on the road. But before we do, if this is our first time meeting, hi, I'm Goji Man. I do vegan health and nutrition videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm currently studying for a master's in nutrition and qualifying as a nutritionist. And next year I'll be doing a PhD in nutritional science. So let's get to the shop. So I've just got back home now, I've got all the ingredients laid out, so we'll have a quick look through these. And then as we're cooking the chili con carne, I'll, uh, I'll explain why this dish is better than yours. So this is everything you'll need. I'll put a full ingredients list in the um, comments below. Um, so if we start with um, the herbs and spices first, so we've got some cumin, some oregano, some cinnamon, some ground cloves, some ground coriander, some chili powder and I've also put some uh, cayenne pepper in this. And then we've got some tomato puree, um, some chopped tomatoes, we've got some shiitake mushrooms, some sweet corn, uh, we've got some red onions, some jalapenos, some garlic, uh, we've got a lime, we've got some black beans, we've got 100% uh, dark cacao chocolate, and we've also got some vegetable stock. So first things first, a splash of veg stock, in your pan. I personally am not a big fan of olive oil or any other oils, so that's entirely up to you whether you use those, but for me, I'll always use vegetable stock. Next up, you wanna throw your garlic in. Now, the reason I've added garlic, other than the fact that it tastes amazing, garlic contains an amino acid called allin, and when you uh, chop or crush it, it releases an enzyme called alanase. Now when you combine alin and alanase, it produces a compound called allicin, which is one of the best antibacterial compounds on the planet. Also very good for uh, inflammation. So if you suffer with any gut problems or inflammation, then garlic is a winner for you. Next up, onions. So onions are a great source of sulfur and sulfur groups in the body help with your mitochondria which are the little power plants in every cell. So if you want to speed up your uh, mitochondria and your metabolism uh, then sulfur based foods will help with that and onions are uh, very good for that. Um, also onions are a great source of flavonoids um, so quercetin and anthocyanins which are really really good for scavenging out free radicals in the body and protecting you against cancer so that's why we add onions next up we have cumin which contains thymol which will help uh, bile secretion in the body which will aid digestion so we're going to throw that in next 
Next up we've got Oregano which contains Carvacrol which is antimicrobial in nature so that goes in next. Next up we have cinnamon and cinnamon contains over 41 different antioxidants and in terms of the ORAC scale which is the scale which measures the amount of antioxidants in foods, um, cinnamon ranks 7th in all foods in the world so it's very very good for antioxidants. So next that goes in. Next up all the other spices so think anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. And while the spices and herbs are doing their things you want to put a couple of sweet potatoes in the oven. Next up we have tomatoes which contain all four of the main carotenoids so alpha, beta, uh, lutein and lycopene which are awesome for being protective for against cancer and also obviously carotenoids are really good for eye health. Next up we have black beans and black beans contain quercetin and saponins and uh, both of these help remove toxins from the body and obviously black beans also contain lots of different uh, vitamins and minerals from potassium, magnesium etc etc. So next these go in. Next up we have kidney beans. Kidney beans like black beans have got lots of fibre also packed with potassium, magnesium, iron, zinc etc etc. So they go in. Next up you want to melt your dark chocolate, so put your um, a pan over some water so you can melt it down and then simply add your dark chocolate in and melt it down. Next up we have shiitake mushrooms which are a very good source of all B vitamins other than obviously B12. Um, a very good tip for you with uh, shiitake mushrooms and any mushrooms for that matter of fact. If you put these out in direct sunlight um, for an hour or two um, before you eat them, they will produce vitamin D for you. So that's uh, another little tip there for you, but in they go. Next up we have a sweet corn, no real nutritional benefits, but I just really like the taste of it. So we'll add in a bit of sweet corn. Soy sauce next, again, no real nutritional benefit, but just adds to the flavor. So in that goes. Nearly there now. Next up we have jalapenos. Jalapenos contain a compound called, called capsaicin which is very very good for um, protection against cancer and they just really taste very very good. So that's going in as well. Next up and be careful but you want to add in your melted chocolate. So just pour that all over. How good does that look? And just grab a spoon and scoop out the excess. It's literally a sweltering. Um, chocolate. So the reason why we put chocolate in, other than the fact that it tastes amazing, um, a hundred gram bar of dark chocolate, so anything over 75 to 80 percent cacao, will provide probably in excess of 60 to 70 percent of your RDA for iron. So when you think dark chocolate, think a very good source of iron and also think of a very good source of antioxidants, so flavanols and polyphenols, etc, etc. So very, very good for you. Also packed with kind of potassium, magnesium and all that other good stuff. And final thing to go in, squeeze of lime just to set it off. Obviously lots of vitamin C. And finally we just wait for it to all thicken up. How good does that look? And while everything's just finishing off you want to uh, just grab some coriander and give it a good chop. And just in case you think I forgot, coriander is very good for detoxification as it binds the metals and pulls them out of the body. So then you just literally spoon over your chilli and then as my friend says on uh, healthy crazy cool, apply to face and then garnish with coriander. Ha ha ha! Speak of the devil and they shall appear. I have a surprise for you. Yep. What do you think I've got? You said you were going to make chilli and I can smell chilli so I'm guessing it's chilli. 
Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner, baby. Ooh. Look at that bad boy. Oh, this looks good. Thank you. Service with a smile as well. Mm. So, honest appraisal time. Out of 10, what do we rate that vegan chili con carne? And what would you change about it? I would give it. I'd say eight think, out, eight. think carefully. <laughs> eight out of ten. I'll take that. And um, what would you change about it? Um, I'd probably just me personally. I'd probably make it a bit more smartery. Hideous, 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 hideous. What would you change it about about it, Rosie? Yeah, I didn't think so. Would you say it's perfect? Yeah. So that's the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. This weekend we'll be heading to Cornwall, so I'll be vlogging from there, which will be really good. Um, but as always, remember to look after yourself and remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.